Hello and welcome and we're back here in Sim Airport and we've actually moved on uh, a little bit we're uh, probably over a day has gone by since uh, since we left the airport at the end of the last episode uh, largely because as you recall there was uh, sort of a fair amount of, of, of simple construction work to do nothing terribly exciting uh, so what's happened in the meantime uh, my lovely worker working crew have finished carpeting putting floor tiles down at least uh, in the up, on the upper deck for our new large gate um, I've also um, extended it a little bit further this way I realized it really is just too narrow I think to fit all the stuff in I, I sensed that as soon as I was putting down the store and the arcade and stuff so I've made it a bit wider so we've got more space people like to have space don't they I think um, it might have made more sense to extend down here on the uh, south side, as it were, the lower side, um, but that would have meant too much faffing around with uh, the store and the arcade and stuff, and I didn't want to do that. So putting it out this way. But I've got a nice little idea which will hopefully work uh, with this extra bit of space. But as you can see, we've actually got people working here. Uh, the gate agents have been through. We've actually had three flights departing from... Uh, our new gate uh, since you were last with us and they've all departed in good order I think uh, let's just check that's it um, yeah in fact I think we should we should be back on track for another perfect operations result which uh, as you may recall I kind of messed up uh, when I, I do this whenever I do a big expansion I kind of mess up because I let people wander upstairs uh, when they, when the, the build, the, this part of the building wasn't ready and they, they just got distracted and were late for their flights uh, downstairs. So we missed out on that, but we got it yesterday and we're on track again for today. Uh, today's profit uh, is not uh, 151000 in the hole because I've been spending money on fuel again. The price came down a bit, so I, I pumped it up, put some in there uh, to wrap that up. And also, um, and this is... a uh, a fun fact, but it's <laughs> it's part of the storyline of the game, I suppose. Is I actually paid back uh, yesterday? Oh, what well, we're here um, yesterday. Uh, I paid back some of the loan. This fifty thousand here. So my credit rating now is over six hundred, which means I've got good credit worthiness. So if I want to take out more loans, uh, they won't cost me as much in interest. Not that I need more loan, to be honest. I've got 800 still uh, outstanding, but uh, that's that's fine. Now, what I I was disappointed with uh, last episode, uh, well, well, when I started um, scheduling flights for the for this new large gate, is I couldn't fit any large aircraft in. Uh, I realised uh, that to do that, you actually need a larger runway. So what I'm thinking uh, today's uh, exercise will be to uh, make one of these a large runway. Now, it can't be this one. There simply isn't space to fit it in there. Uh, if we try and build that uh, asphalt runway. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, I need to be on the ground floor. Um, yeah, it needs to be 120, which just kind of fits in there, but that's the entire length of, of that uh, slice of land. So there'll be no room for the lights or anything. So what we're going to do, in fact we can do it now, is upgrade this uh, runway to uh, 120 so I can get some large planes in. Now can I do it from here? Oh, I can actually. Yeah, if we do it from there, then we can use the same taxiway entrance exit that we've already got, I think. So let's upgrade that. And the nice thing about that is it's moved the lights as well. <laughs> so I don't have to pay for upgrading the lights while we're while we're upgrading after we've upgraded the runway. Uh, so what do we need to do? I want to put some carpeting down here. So let's get that done. In there. While people are otherwise occupied. So what we'll do. Um, you don't particularly want to, to hang around waiting for for this to finish uh, being upgraded and built and the tiles laid. So I will fast forward a bit and we'll rejoin my lovely airport uh, once all these works have been completed.
Okay, so it appears that the runway has been finished, but uh, we're still not available because it needs a taxiway at that other end as well. So we best get that in there. Is the game running? The game is running in slow. In slow speed. So if you stick that in. Must be. <laughs> I'm always paging up to go to the upper deck because that's where all the fun is at the moment. Uh, and uh, try and do things on the ground. Which he doesn't like. Okay. Now, actually, on that uh, deck, uh, they've more or less finished the, the work there. So, I think what will happen, once that's completed, I can then go to the schedule. Oh, I've already got them. Excellent. Uh, only one, though. I wonder why that is. Do not any of the other airliners want to use... Uh, the large runway. My, notice that my airline interest has gone down a little bit from 70-ish, 70 70-plus 70 to 68, so I may need to either improve the facil facilities significantly or reduce my uh, airline costs. But uh, I like making money from the airlines at the moment. I think I'm okay with that. So which of these shall we take? Uh, Hawaiian Airlines. And they're both three two ones. So that's two hundred six. That's two hundred six. That's our biggest flight yet. So we could do. Um, we could do it in the morning, actually. Uh, could do both of them. Like, why not? Accept all. Let's go for it. Let's be bold. So we will stick you in the morning there. Uh, I'm going to hope that uh, two hours is long enough. Actually, let's give them uh, a bit more. Two hours ten. <laughs> Just to make sure everyone is boarded. Oops, uh, get that out of the way then I can see what I'm doing. Actually, so we move Malta forward a bit. There we go. We can get you there and give you that extra 10 minutes. Cool. Right, obviously they're not going to arrive until tomorrow. So we have got other things to do. Uh, okay, I still need a bit of flooring here. Right, so how are we doing profit wise today? Actually, let's check the profit for the last couple of days. So I'm already 58,000, uh, 56,000 <laughs> in profit. Uh, I've sold a little bit of fuel. Um, yeah, the price is going up, or oh, it's coming down again slightly. So I've put my price up to something extortionate. So not many people will want it. Um, but uh, that, I, I, just, I, I just like having some fuel to offer. Uh, airlines, if they're willing to pay through the nose for it. Uh, profit and loss uh, yesterday, actually. Yeah, that was a lot. Uh, of course, yes, that would have included the cost of rebuilding or upgrading the runway. Perfect ops, seven grand, seven, eight, oh, nearly eight grand. And my credit report, still much the same. Okay, now, I'm not going to make too many, actually, what I want to do I want to move, <laughs> dismantle, and dismantle you. In fact, let's get that out of the way as well. And, no, not the person. The bin. Dismantle that. I want to rearrange this somewhat. Uh, and, and actually, what I want to do. Yeah. Let's uh, put those objects, comfort, uh, that's, oh, where are you? Oh, there you are. Uh, so let's put you, actually, no, not there. I want to put you somewhere slightly further along, I think. And round like that, and round like that. And we'll get rid of you as well. And you. 
It's going to annoy these pa people, but it's only temporary. Um, I'm sure they'll be delighted once uh, I've got everything else sorted out. <laughs> Whatever that is. Yeah. Uh, actually, while we're here, we could put that decor back. Which one was it? That one. Put you back there. And while I'm here, actually, uh, where's the windows? Seeing as we now realise that windows are cool. Uh, let's put two in there. Two in there. Two there. This is all very random spacing. I should properly, of course, space them out. One there. Okay. Uh, okay, so the benches are gone. So we can put them back now. Along here. Okay. And I might leave those where they are for the moment. Okay, how's my environment going? Yeah, we want some more plantage up there. All the plant has gone in, that's fine, so you're sorted. Cool. Information. I think that's fine there for the moment. Okay, now, when's our next flight? You're coming in at 7.50. That's quite a delay, isn't it? But we're still... Oh, we're making loads of money. Uh, the fuel price is going down slightly still. My average price at the moment is 153 so if we can get that below 150 we'll buy some more fuel uh, and then once the day the once once all the flights have come in on this gate uh, I will try and make the change that I want to make here and see if that works I wonder if you can uh, guess where I'm going with this actually while we're here let's get these seats dismantled as well we might actually put them back in here, but uh, for the time being, let's get rid of them. Because uh, I want to play around with this space here a bit. That's what we're doing. Oh, right, the fuel price is going down. And is it going back up again? Looks like it might be. Oh, it is. Okay, well, let's... Um, buy a bit more at this price shall we uh, that's too much actually how much profit have I made today 193,000 so we could spend a hundred thousand let's just buy another 50,000 fuel at that price and that will come in at 11 o'clock tonight okay that's cool uh, oh, we have been selling some fuel. Yeah, we have. People are buying it. It must be really good fuel. That's why. Right. Oh, those, those chairs gone. I think they have, haven't they? So, get you along here. And there. I'll put another one in here, I think, just for the. Yep, yeah, that works. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm not quite sure why I've got all this stuff stuck in the middle here, actually. That that looks a bit weird, doesn't it? So I think we'll dismantle that. We'll dismantle the bin. Obviously, the way I set it up to start with, with my weird... I don't know what I was doing. But then again, that's nothing new, is it? I, I seldom know what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, we're still making good profits. This is nice. And our uh, aeroplanes all appear to be departing on time, fully passengered. Excellent. So we should get another nearly 10 grand, possibly, of our perfect operations bonus, which will be very nice. It's very nice indeed. Aha! Okay, here come the passengers for our last flight from gate B1. 
What's that going to be? Is another Malta? Yeah, it's all Malta there. It's a pity Malta didn't give me any large planes. So I would have liked to put those there as well. Actually, one thing I can do, I think. So I did the um, did the uh, did did the research upgrade. I can put in these fuel ports. I'm not quite sure what they where they should go. To be honest, I've I've been putting them there. So it seems kind of logical. It sort of works. Now the fuel truck still has to come out. Um, needs to be on the ground floor. Have I not done the research? I thought I had done the research. Uh, where the heck are they? I have done the research, so why are they not going in? Am I trying to put them in the wrong place, perhaps? Is that... I don't know. They're on the upgrade. Uh, upgrade. Fuel port. Oh, I've no idea what was going on there. Um... Not the aeroplane. I want the gate. Fuel port. Oh, maybe I wasn't. I wasn't clicking on it. That's, that's always the problem here. I'm just not clicking uh, properly. And we'll put. Uh, no, it's not there. It's the upgrade. Put fuel port in there. The the uh, the fuel truck will still come. But it doesn't actually fuel the plane itself. I, if I understand from what I was re been reading about uh, how this all works, oh, there's the upgrade. Um, it the, it uses it has to have the uh, the fuel truck there to actually power the pump, the pipe that goes to the aircraft. I think it should be faster and more efficient. And the thing here is we do need. Uh, actually, let's pause that for a second because I want to start building before the night's out. Uh, the thing, why I'm th saying that is because this, actually that doesn't need maintenance, no. Uh, in case there's any big maintenance job that the work crew need to do, uh, I don't want, don't want them to get um, distracted from doing that, by doing, which happens after midnight. Uh, I don't want to get them distracted from doing that by uh, building stuff for me uh, inside the terminal. What am I doing here? Fuel ports, uh, construction. That's utilities, isn't it? Fuel pipes. There we go. Now we need to send the pipe actually to these ports. Ah, you haven't finished building them yet. But we should be able to pipe across there. And to there. Okay, that's good. Now, at the end of the on the last uh, episode, um, a comment was made that uh, what we should look at next is the baggage system. Uh, so we actually get the carousels for baggage claim, and we get uh, the baggage delivered automatically by conveyor belts uh, out to the aircraft, rather than having my workers uh, taking their little golf carts out. So it should speed up that operation as well. Now. The issue with that is, A, it's expensive, so I'm going to need to keep on racking up the money. Um, but it also has to be done underground, and you can't cross fuel pipes with baggage uh, conveyors. Which means I'm going to have to think carefully about where I put the conveyor belt. Now, I could... I could put it um, around, just around here here somewhere I suppose actually that might work that might work or I could put it around the other side of the airport uh, we shall see anyway what I want to do here let's uh, pause this for a second so I want to move these gates out of the way so I'm going to dismantle you and dismantle no not the man I think that's a, a male gate attendant I think isn't it yeah Dismantle that. Let's get rid of the queues as well. Uh, where where are they? Where do they start? Are you starting there? Yeah. No, there, there, and there. That's it. 
and there. Okay. What I'm going to try and achieve is separating out incoming passengers from uh, outgoing passengers, which uh, is going to be interesting to do. Uh, what I think I could do, actually, if I build... I need to get those things need to be got rid of first, isn't it? Now, of course, my workers are all doing the fuel pipe. I don't have them available to do this. Don't. Oh dear, my aircraft interest has gone down, but my passenger satisfaction has gone up. That's nice. That's all this little garbage man, a little janitor, maintenance man, picking up the rubbish from the bin. Actually, while we're here, uh, just check. Yeah, decals, fine. Information. That's okay. We might want to improve that a little bit in a moment. But it seems to be working okay. Actually, I, did, I had a spare trash can, didn't I? Deleted one. Well, I've got two. Okay, so that was there. I actually put it... Yeah, put it there. Uh, we've got one there. That'll do. Okay, we'll come back and deal with those later. Your workmen. Ah, right, splendid fellows. Right. Okay, so what I want to do is so I build that wall. There. And there, I think. Okay. And put in. Can I put in security uh, exit? That's what it's called. Security exit. Security exit in there. Okay. Now, will this work? I really don't know. Uh, so we want our gates. Gate agent desk. We want two of these still for first and for standard class. Um, we'll put you there, and you there, and then we want queues. So this will be the first class queue. Going out there, and the second class queue. Come out around here, I think. Does it need to be that long? I'm not sure it does, to be honest, but that's what we're going to do. And that does, I think, mean we'll move these benches out of the way. Okay. Right, so the, the plan is, is that everyone entering or departing from the airport will go this way through there and departures will come out and go this way so they're quite they're kept separate that's a gate agent desk oh you've left that there okay uh, so we're going to assign you to that desk there and once we get that desk built we can assign that one as well right, and you're going to go uh, to First class queue there. Okay. Uh -huh. Right, you're done. Uh, we're going to assign to that desk there. And you can be assigned to this queue here. Splendid. Let's just check our queues. Yeah, that looks good, I think. Uh, so we just need to set the uh, staff schedules again. <laughs> uh, we don't need you early. Uh, we don't need you at night. We do want you in the daytime and in peak. Okay, that should be job done. So it's going to be interesting to see if this actually works. I hope it does. What we could do is put in some 
some decoration there, can't we? That'd be nice. Uh, decoration. Uh, just look for decor. Okay. Um, oh, we might have the same people on on staff as well. Yeah, uh, male and female gate attendants. Though I think they've switched desks. Well, look at it. Uh, what am I looking for? Oh yeah, plants. <laughs> Not decorative trees. Plants. There you go. You can go in there. The, tr the trouble is, people hang around here in odd places. Oh, look! Oh, heck, the, the fuel price of... No? Ah, you see? Yeah, it does work. Right, the fuel the price of fuel has come down dramatically, so I think we can be buying more of that. How's that doing? Is that going to go below? It is. I'm not sure I want that much. What should we say? 100,000. Just keep an eye on that. Can we get it below 1.2? Two, two? <laughs> am I spending too much time watching the, the fuel price? I possibly am. Uh, what's that aircraft? Oh, that's the Air Malta one. Yeah, the Hawaiian one's come a bit later. Oh, it's going up again now. But we'll buy there. That's fine. Okay, so how are we doing profit-wise today? We're only 26,000 down, despite spending all that money on fuel. Wow. Nice. Uh, yesterday, we did get our perfect ops, 10 grand. That's, that's nice. Airport value's over 2 million. Impressive. Cash flow, yeah, that was spending on fuel, I think. And we're making profits quite nicely. Uh, we made profit, oh, 125,000 yesterday. That is rather nice. And credit score going up and up. Uh, I can repay another 25, shall I? Yeah, let's do that. That keeps the bank happy, at least. Right, what's going on here? All the departing passengers go that way. Everyone else joins a queue. Excellent. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's not how I wanted it to work. Um, can I put gates? What I want to do. Um, they, <laughs> not even first class is going. Oh dear, oh dear. Right. We get, we're going to have to design this a bit better. Um, there is research for one-way systems, isn't there? Uh, one-way paths. Let's do that. It's only 15 grand. That should be fine. And I might be able to work that out. The other thing, of course, is I could actually partition this all off and just put the security gates around the other way. Should we try that as a short-term measure? Put that in there. That in there. And two more exits. Go in there, but going that way around. And hopefully that will, they will then adhere to my, uh, to my system. Which will work. Ah, that's the Hawaiian. Uh, how many passengers. Eight, only 83. So we're not getting the big numbers of people uh, coming through the airport. I can reduce the price of my fuel now, can't I? Uh, let's make it 170 still. That's still quite expensive, but more people will buy it, which might mean I make more money out of it. Okay, now what I want to do for baggage claim is I'm going to extend this I think so the baggage claim comes down a bit so we leave a bit more spare room there for passengers to go through so we need some more foundations uh, in fact there it is now I've got fence 
Yeah, I should be okay deleting that bit of fence. I've got a fence there, haven't I? So if I take that to there and there, why, why do I always do it? It's, that's better. <laughs> uh, that will actually. Can I cancel all that? Cancel that. Cancel that. And that. And do it all as one job. Then it should be built slightly more. In the way I, that's better, the way I want it. Otherwise, I'll just get three lines of walls, which is just plain silly. Oh dear, garbage! I'm not having that there. Put that there. Look, they're going through the system. Excellent. Uh, where are you going? Are you going to be stuck? Are you going to be stuck? A little heck. It looks like she might be. Get rid of that for the moment. I don't want her to be to miss her flight. Is that male or female? I think it's a female person, isn't it? And I'll put the gate back after the flight's departed, so we don't get anybody stuck in this no man's land. They really shouldn't go past the desk agent, should they? Until they've actually shown their boarding pass to go through. I'm worried about this person. Oh no! <laughs> oh dear! Um, that's not good. It left late by the look of it. I'm not sure about that, but it was fully passengered. Oh, the actual departure was 12.10. Uh, it was waiting for people. Darn. Now, the fact, the fact that it was late, I'm not sure if that impacts on the perfect operations bonus. Of suspicion, it doesn't. Right, they're all out. Okay, and I'm going to wait. What are you doing, man? Your men. Crew people. Oops. We might need a bigger queue there. Just 92 people. I think we might, actually. They're all queuing up nicely, though. Waiting to board. More rubbish. Do I need more, um... More janitors? Oh, where's my staff? Manage staff. Two. Let's get another one. There you go. Now, at the moment, in the game as it stands now, I'm not quite sure why. Wait for the crew. To, oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to lose. Uh, why can't the crew board? Is going on so highlight passengers uh, everything's secure that's fine so uh, where do you highlight is it here packs flow uh, so magenta our flight crew that is you there That's very strange. Phew! That was a close call. That is very strange though. They should have worked out. They obviously had a path set just before the wall was be, be finished being built. And, uh, and that was it. They, they couldn't make any other choice. Okay, we'll put, uh, put the wall back. 
once it's done. So I'll put the security exit in there while we're waiting. That's the right way around. It's turning into a busy gate, isn't it? But look at that. Nearly 600,000. 200,000 profit. Nice. Right, so I think most definitely in the next episode, we will be doing luggage. I will attempt to put down the carousels and all the conveyors and stuff. That, that should bring back the airline interest anymore. No, still no large aircraft. I wonder if it's because the airlines I've got selected don't have large aircraft. I might have to find another mod which uses the, the, the big bucks, the big planes. I was thinking air bucks there for a second and then forgot. Ooh, the price of fuel's coming down again. What have I got in reserve? I've got 100,000 pending. Uh, so how's the fuel price? Is it coming down still? It says it's going back up. Yeah, let's buy that. Okay, so yeah, I've I've hit my maximum level. I can't have more in the external warehouse than, than I have capacity to hold internally. So this is a another three twenty, a big plane, but only eighty four passengers on board. No worries. Right, let's get rid of you. I'll put the wall back. And that's it. I, we will leave this here today. Uh, just a, a little bit of an experiment in uh, in passenger flow management. Once I get the one-way uh, research done, we might uh, that might help. I might be able to use it elsewhere as well. Uh, I'm not sure I can really use it down here on the smaller gates. That's uh, no. I think that they're, they're past help. What's going on here? Oh no. <laughs> Oops, someone's clocked off early. Uh, can we get you back? No, it's not you I want, it's the staff schedule. Ah, uh, no. Right, uh, we're probably going to be late again on that. Oh, see, the, the flights are overrunning. That's the problem there, yeah. So it went into night time. Right, that should get everybody boarded. It'll go away now. Hopefully, if that is everybody, yeah. No available runway. Ah. Uh. <laughs> well, that's a good place to end the episode, isn't it? <laughs> right. So I will sort that out. Oh, he's gone now. He's gone. Right, good. Okay. It was obviously undergoing maintenance. Yes, it was. Cause it was once it gets under 80%, it needs maintenance. So that's what the problem was there. Right, so let's get that wall back. Okay. Uh, I'll adjust the schedule again. Night time. Uh, where are we? Night. Yeah, we don't want those there. Actually, looking at my flight schedule, do would it be worth actually adjusting that so there's much less risk? Yeah, let's move that. So there's much less risk of that flight running over past midnight uh, than me running out of staff. Uh, we will need to address that sort of issue, I think, uh, again. Certainly when the, the current experimental build Hits the default, uh, so hits the default or experimental branch, which is the one I'm currently using. There's a lot more scheduling and stuff to do. It looks like there's a whole new set of challenges coming up uh, in the next patch, so that's going to be fun, to say the least. Right, so there we are. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this little episode, um, and I, I think I've got most things right. I think <laughs> eventually, uh, and next next episode, promise. Honestly, we're going to do baggage. I seem to have enough money to do that. Uh, oh, I lost my bonus. Darn. Um, 
yeah, we're making enough money. I could do baggage in the next episode, and that should be a whole new interesting set of um, stuff going wrong. So I will see you then. Thank you very much for your company today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have, a lovely little thumbs up will be very much appreciated. But even better, if you've got any thoughts, uh, suggestions, recommendations, even criticisms of what, what I'm doing here in the game, uh, just drop a note into the comments box below. That would be very much appreciated. And, of course, if you've not already done so, please do subscribe to the channel. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Sim Airport, once again, thank you very much for joining me today, and I'll see you again soon. Until then, bye-bye for now.